Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Micro Pedal tutorial. Yeah. I have a confession. Most of my builds are really designed for creative. Today, we are making a shooting range. A tutorial on a transforming cave, concrete wave machine, working printer, 8x2 piston bridge, 8x8 eight eight piston door. That might be the biggest understatement of the whole year. <laughs> but today, we are going to remedy that because today's build is for those survival players out there. Today, we are building a hidden pop-up anvil. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> I am such a widow. <laughs> so here is our pop-up hidden anvil. Now just take a quick look at the rest then first because that's the most impressive part. Just look at this thing. <laughs> it's one wide <laughs> and so, so very compact. So you can imagine this is your floor, <laughs> very tiny floor. But when we press this button here, as you can see, we have a pop-up anvil, very nice. Press the button again and it drops down and gets caught in some water. And you can do this over, and over, and over, <laughs> and over again. <laughs> okay, so now you've seen the design, let's get on with this tutorial. Just before we look at this tutorial, I get this comment way, way, way too much. Now, I'm not getting at the people who actually put this comment, okay? Because most of you are just trying to help me out, and that's very kind of you. But it's called BE, <laughs> not PE. It's bedrock edition, not pocket edition. Windows 10, which I'm playing on now, iOS, Android, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One all come under the bracket of bedrock edition. Now, just to help you remember, what we've done is we wrote a song. Take it away, Robo Time Man. What's, what's wrong with your voice? You're ruining the song. Oh. So for this amazing build, you're going to need five regular pistons, two sticky pistons, two observers, two redstone repeaters, four redstone torches, one redstone block, one slime block, three redstone dust, one dispenser, one stone button, one water bucket, nine blocks of redstone to go on, and then how many blocks you need for decoration. Oh, and of course, you need one anvil. <laughs> okay, so what we want to start with is our flooring. This is one block here, and then two blocks of our wall like this. And we want our button to go here. After that, come out one, two, three blocks from this one here, remove the first two, grab a sticky piston, and face it toward this block here. Now, there should be a one block gap between the face of the sticky piston and our flooring block. Remove this block. Block on top of the sticky piston, and one out. Have a repeater coming away from the wall block, and some dust. Underneath this block, we need a piston facing downward. So when I press this button here, that piston should activate. Beautiful. <laughs> now, place three blocks, any random block. I'm going to be using glass, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's a movable block. So one, two, three. Then a redstone block, and then another random block. Next to our random block, we need another one out. Then have a repeater come away from the redstone block on three tick delay. You need to place it down and press it twice. Once, twice. That goes into a block like this. A torch on top of that block, which should turn off. On top of this torch, we should have a block. Then grab a regular piston and face it downward like this. Then grab another torch and place it here. Underneath this block, come out one, two, three, remove the first two and grab a regular piston and face it upward and remove this block. Okay, now just to finish off this build, what we have to do is come underneath this block here and place an observer like this. So the dot should be facing toward the front and the face facing toward the back. Now in front of this dot, we need a dispenser, like that. Not a dropper, but a dispenser. Then crouch and place dust like this. If you're struggling to fly and crouch at the same time, basically just place a block here, land on it, then crouch and place the dust. 
If you don't crouch, all will happen is you open up the UI of the dispenser. Underneath this dispenser, we need to grab a regular piston and place it like this. Again, crouch. A torch off the back side of that uh, piston there. Two blocks down, one, two. Move the first and have dust in it like so. Then grab a redstone torch, place it toward the back. Place a temporary block underneath that torch and another one toward the back. Remove the first, then grab a regular piston and place it like this, which should extend because it's powered by that torch. Remove this block. An observer here with a dot facing toward the front. A sticky piston in front of that observer. A slime block on top. And that's <laughs> everything done. So all we have to do now in the dispenser is place a water bucket. And then have our anvil here. And that's it. So now we should have our anvil popping up, which we do. And then press the button again. And as you can see, it falls down and gets caught by the water. Very, very nice. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'll see you later. Bye.